two weeks ago, an Israeli military orchestra was uh, playing in Amersfoort at Flint Theater, also completely funded and protected by uh, the Dutch state and uh, uh, as well as the Israeli embassy here. Um, so that just tells you a bit about how crazy it is at the same time that uh, Shirin Abu Akleh was killed, the Palestinian journalist, at the same time that, uh, you know, the war crimes were ongoing. The place where we live, our governments, our state structures are using our tax money to protect events like these. But it was disrupted, so it's all good. Um, um, I was really impressed by uh, Martin's actions in the, in the forest and uh, just in general the way the climate crisis is approached uh, within this movement. Um, which is why it's important to look at how, in a broader picture, the climate crisis is intrinsically linked to uh, imperialism and colonialism. If we only uh, approach the superficiality of it, it will never be truly resolved. So um, I've been uh, with a, a bunch of other people in the Netherlands over the last year uh, growing uh, a movement for Palestine of students, of uh, legal teams, of BDS activists, uh, trade unionists, it, it's a broad movement, and it's a movement that has also existed for years, but been livened up by the uh, recent atrocities. Um, because Palestinian liberation is at the core, as I've mentioned, I'm also going to try not to repeat too many things from the previous talk, uh, but it's at the core of, of each of these injustices that we try to address, um, that have been addressed also at this Marxism festival. Um, so... The core values of anti-Zionism, anti-imperialism, and anti-colonialism, when you look at the story of Palestine as a case study, as an example of the broader state of the world we live in today, you have a 70-year-old ongoing occupation of a land, of a people, funded, aided, and benefited from by our own governments in the West, in the Netherlands, in Britain, in the UK, in, uh, in the US. Um, and it's therefore our responsibility not, not simply to condemn it by heart, but to do something about this. The bare minimum is to make sure that there is no complicity on our side, that our taxes aren't used to fund the Israeli occupation, to buy Israeli weapons, uh, to, to polish the Israeli image to the West. If you look at the NOS, uh, the Dutch state media, and the way it, it reports on every single happening uh, in uh, Palestine, you see how much we have to unravel and unlearn and unteach in order to reach the core of the issue. Um, and it's a, it's a difficult process because uh, it is years and decades of state propaganda, not just within the Palestinian question, uh, but with a lot of other things. Um, it's years of propaganda that need to be unlearned. Um, and once we get to unlearning the propaganda, we get to pressuring the institutions, the universities, the trade unions, the pension funds, the governments to uh, end their complicity, which is the absolute bare minimum um, and that's why it's important to also keep in mind the end goal. We want to end the complicity now of the institutions now and the structures now that are complicit. Uh, but these are not the structures that are going to save us. They're not going to save us from the climate crisis. They're not going to save us uh, uh, from colonialism. They're not going to save us from imperialism. This is a means to an end and this is an instrument in the broad fight against what is a very, very fucked up world order that sees people dehumanized and devalued and, and seen as subhuman if they're not white, blonde, and blue-eyed, um, and if their land happens to have resources that benefit the West. So um, the, the things that can be done, um, there are groups for all kinds of people. If you're a student, if you, uh, if you are in a trade union, if you are just simply interested, if you have people around you who are not aware, who you can talk to and educate, um, educate and organize and join a movement uh, and protest. There's at least in six, seven different uh, Dutch cities heavily active groups um, that organize you know, protests, seminars, lectures, campaigns calling for boycotts, divestments and sanctions. Um, join one of them, talk to the people there, come up to one of us after this and uh, get in touch. Um, and just remember that uh, from the river to the sea... Palestine will be free! Thank you.